Great news, guys. We're all going to be rich. Probably. It's Dinger Tuesday, and if we're being honest, I wouldn't be surprised if there are a record number of home runs hit today. Just a feeling. Lucky for us, Caesars gave me a bonus bet, and you know what we do with bonus bets around here. It's Dinger Parlay time. But before we get to the parlay, help me out a little bit and subscribe to this channel. We talk sports betting all the time, and honestly, if you're watching this video, you're the exact type of person that this channel was made for. On top of that, by subscribing and getting the notifications on, you'll never miss one of our live streams. We've got the greatest sports betting chat on the internet today. Everybody knows that. Check out a live stream and you'll see what I mean. It's all free too. Talk about living the dream. Anyways, like I said, Caesars gave me a bonus bet. And if I've learned anything about bonus bets, it's that you have to shoot for the moon with these things. None of this minus 120 on a straight bet stuff. We have to be somebody with these things. Put a little pressure on these books. Make them think, why the hell did we give these people bonus bets? And I think a three-leg dinger parlay is the perfect way to use these things. Really stick it to the man a little bit, even though they only gave me five bucks. We're going to start with Christopher Morell, plus 460. The weather people are going to say that it might rain a little bit during this game, but my guy Kevin Roth thinks that there's a chance that they play this thing dry. I think we should just calm down and see what happens. I don't know how many times I've heard that rain will impact a game, so I don't bet a guy. Then, rain doesn't impact the game, and my guy goes deep. Twice. It sucks, and it's never happening to us again. We can't believe in weather at this point. It's just too important. I feel like it's a scam to get us not to bet guys like Christopher Morrell to go yard. In the month of May, this guy is demolishing baseballs, especially baseballs thrown by left-handed pitchers. It's borderline criminal. We're talking 100 mile per hour exit velocity all over the place. It's crazy. The man has only had 33 at-bats versus Southpaws this season, and three of those times has ended with him trotting around the bases like a goddamn champion. He's going to see Chris Sale tonight, and I like Chris Sale as much as the next guy, but he can get rocked from time to time. He throws a slider, four-seamer, and a changeup to right-handed hitters. Morell gets barrels on every single one of those offerings from lefties. I'm guessing Sale tries Morell with a four-seamer just to see if he's soft or not. And if that happens, Morell's going to let him know that he's no punk. My guess is that happens in the first at-bat. Next up, O'Neal Cruz plus 440. This guy should never be plus 440 for a dinger. He hits the ball way too hard for all of that. Looking through his game logs, I don't think there's another human being on this planet that's hitting baseballs harder right now than O'Neal Cruz. It's actually dangerous to be out in the field when he's up to bat. My plan for betting him is simple. Do it every day, especially on days like today. He's got a righty in Joe Ross that throws a slider to lefties that just gets abused. It happens every single time he pitches. Guess who smashes sliders from lefties? You guessed it, O'Neal Cruz. We're talking 16 plus barrel rate on these things. But it's not just sliders, it's also sinkers and four seamers. All of which Joe Ross tries people with. At the end of the day, no matter what Joe Ross tries to throw, O'Neal Cruz can hit it. And hard. We just need the ball to clear the fence. I think that happens. Finally, another lefty masher, Josh Naylor, plus 450. He's another guy that we can almost just blindly bet. He hits literally everybody. He may not hit the ball as hard as Cruz, but it's damn close. We had him the other night, and he hit the ball off the top of the wall. We were right there. But I think he pays us back tonight. He's going to see Jack Leiter, and while I don't want to pick on Jack, he's probably going to get rocked again. His problem is his fastball just isn't good. Guys hit it all over the place. It gets rocked by lefties and righties, literally everybody. And if there's one thing Josh Naylor can do, it's hit a fastball hard. He can also hit a slider, a changeup, and a curveball. So that could be a problem for Jack since that's all he really throws to lefties. If I had to guess, I'd say Naylor hits a tape measure shot in the top of the first inning tonight just to send a message, really set the tone a little bit. If that happens, we're going to stuff $800 in our pockets, and the books will likely never give us another free bet for as long as we live. That's going to do it for right now. I'm still working on the dollar and a dream for today. It's almost done, and when it is, it's going to be on TikTok and Twitter. Don't forget to get the notifications on on this channel. I'll see you guys later on the live stream.